when the war broke out, I was, I was young, I was four years old. I didn't have any sisters and brothers, so it was just me, mother and me, father. And my dad was a minor, and my mother was just looked after, she was just the housekeeper. And my dad used to be in the home guard. He used to, at night time, he used to guard the police station and the, and the, uh, and the post office. He used to have to go every night. He worked in the pit, but he used to have to put his uniform, go, you know, at night time and go first before he went to work. And he used to um, work in the pit at night time, but he'd be guarding the, the post office and the, and the police station. He guarded the right places, didn't he? I think my mother was affected most by the war. She was uh, on edge all the time, she was frightened to death. Yeah. And um, she used to kneel down and pray at night time, you know, until the siren went when the war was over. She'd kneel down, on, uh, say on a chair like that on the floor, kneel down and pray. Yeah, because she was scared, you know. I remember that part of it, and that's frightening to see somebody doing that, you know. But it was nice when it was uh, all over, you know. It was nice, it was a nice feeling that you hadn't got to get up at night and you wouldn't be frightened, you know. Yes, it, it was a scary time. We had one evacuee. Actually, we had two, but they weren't at the same time, they were at different times. One was, uh, they were both from London, one girl, it, one was a girl, her name was Sylvia Carpenter, and the other was called Graham, Graham Bourne, the other one was, but we had them at different times, not at the same time. Graham would be 10, 11, and Sylvia was 6. I used to have to be in charge. I said I used to have to get them to school at Slitty Mill, and I hated that because I had to go from Agley Road all up, you know, to you know where the cricket field is, that um, there, and then I have to watch them go up the hill, and then I used to dash but down and get go to the Catholic school. <laughs> you know, they were they were they went home with with clothes and things when they went back after the war, you know. Because my dad treated them the same as he treated me. You know, they both, they were looked after all right, you know, and, and they were fed and clothed. The evacuees, yeah, you know, they've been friends ever since. They have kept in touch with us, you know. That was something, wasn't it? You know, when you'd looked after them and... <laughs>